Hello guys, welcome to As a Matter of Fact. Hey, we made history. This is the first episode and I'm glad that you're part of it. So we'll go straight to what we have for today. So today, we'll be looking at a trending topic. Um, Hush Puppy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so many of you know, um, but some of you may not know, but we're going to look at his situation and I'm going to look at it from my perspective. So, but first, before we start, I would like you to subscribe and share and leave your comments. I want to hear from you. This is not just a monologue. I would like to also get your opinions and um, on anything I say. And let's 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 converse. Let's let's have a conversation. Okay. So I'll be looking at Hush Puppy, and um, I know many people have said a lot about him they've talked about you know what he has done and in case you don't know um, you're not familiar with with who he is and what he has done or what's going on um, so Hush Puppy is a Nigerian guy according to the BBC um, his real name is um, Raymond Igbalode Raymond Igbalode and also the BBC reported that he has scammed almost two million people <laughs> that's huge two million people that's that's almost like the population of an entire country and this guy scammed almost two million people you know so but I'm not here to talk about his scams or his atrocities uh, I think there are many um, you know YouTube channels that must have said a lot about that so I want to look at it from a from a totally different perspective now be looking at it from four perspectives are you ready let's go now my the first perspective i'm looking at, that i will look at um the situation is basically calling a spade a spade so what he did was criminal so we'll call it a crime it's a crime he committed a crime it is a crime now what is even more shocking for me is you know when i go on social media and i see people using hashtag i stand with hush puppy i'm like are you guys serious like are you serious you stand with hush puppy you stand with the frost what are you standing for i i don't understand like seriously what are you standing for you know to defraud people is a crime the same as just as um rape is a crime just as um murder is a crime you know how can you I, I don't get it why will people you know stand with him like it's it, come on man. it doesn't it doesn't make sense I don't I would like to I would like to get your opinion about it you know why, why do you think people will stand with hush puppy knowing what he has done he scammed you know two million people almost two million people and yet there are people who boldly say they stand with him why 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 do you think people will stand with him let me know what you think about that anyway but i think you know personally for me i condemn his actions and just as i condemn his actions i want us to also look at it from another perspective let's what he did or what yeah what he did is similar to what our politicians do our politicians scam us a lot they make lots of promises and then when we vote for them they get into position what happens you know they just they just scam us so our politicians are also scammers they belong to the same category as hush puppy so if hush puppy is a criminal i think of and if hush puppy is a scammer i think our politicians are also scammers that's what i think you know let me know what you think about that so I, and I told you the reason why I think so. They make pro lots of promises for to us, and at the end of the day, they fulfill little or none, which is bad. So that's my first perspective looking at Hush Puppy's case. 
what he did is criminal and we should call it that way he is a criminal his act is um a criminal act so yeah what he did um allegedly is a crime and um you know we should condemn it it's 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 condemnable and um i don't think anybody should stand for such i i i don't i don't think so i don't think so but let me know what you think about that okay so we'll look at the second perspective now my second perspective i think you know in nigeria and maybe you know most parts of africa i think that there is a huge emphasis on materialism irrespective of the means a huge emphasis on materialism irrespective of the means listen being financially buoyant being financially okay is good okay but what is even better is doing it in a legit way doing it legally you don't need to defraud someone to to make it in life you don't need to to commit a crime to make it in life that's my point basically you know you don't you don't you don't need to do that you don't need to scam someone or kill someone or you know you to make you you don't need to do that there are there are many people in fact millions of people who think about think about bigger big companies that we have today most of these big companies started small and they grew okay nobody was born big everybody was born as a child and then we grow so there is there should be a, a place of growth you start small and then you grow there's no harm in starting small it's not a sin to start small it's not okay yes we want to do we want to you know make it in life but we should also think of how 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 do you want to make it in life do you do you have to commit crime to make it i don't think that's good i don't i don't think that is that is nice um but also i think that many there are certain factors that contribute to this emphasis on materialism you know music some of the musicians they they promote this you know materialistic views they they you know hail people who have um suspicious um sources of income for put it that way you know they they make it look like if they don't buy a car or they don't get a car or they get a house you know they've, they've achieved nothing also um some religious leaders as well you know put so much emphasis on materialism they want to get the jets they want to you know build big houses and big mansions listen those things are good but the means the means to get in them should be more important to us you know the, the means to get in these things should be more important to us um, um I, i'm not against you know working hard to get in it I'm, I'm 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 just against working hard the wrong way you know working hard the bad way to get in it um so there is there is we should move from just materialism to place emphasis on um dignity in labor you know there is a huge there is there is huge dignity in labor we we sh we should promote labor the right way you know when someone is working hard and working the right way that person should be praised and not someone who makes money and we don't even know how you know the person made it ah. again that's that's the second perspective i'm looking at it um we should move away from too much emphasis on materialism and focus more on dignity in labor let me know what you think about that as well what to the third perspective the third perspective and this goes out to um the media houses you know sometimes when you watch the news and you see how they categorize nigerians it's 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 annoying it's it's saddening it's I don't know how else to put it. It's frustratingly annoying. It it is just it's just bad. And um the reason I say this is because crime is not an exclusive preserve of Nigeria. Okay. 
crime should not be a synonym of Nigeria. Listen, let's, let's be sincere. Crime happens everywhere in the world, okay? Criminal activities, you can find them everywhere in the world. I don't think there's any country in this world that doesn't have um, a prison or a police system to check crime, you know? So crime happens everywhere in the world. But that doesn't mean that because a young guy or a young person takes a gun, goes to, the, goes to any school, kills people, that doesn't mean that we should see every other young person in that country as mass shooters. That someone rapes another person doesn't mean that we should see every person in that country as rapists. Get my point. We Nigerians are about 200 million people in, in population. About 200 million. The action of one person or a selected few should not be a yardstick to generalize. Should not be the blueprint to generalize, you know, all the Nigerians. That that, that is so unfair. Yeah. It, it's it's so unfair. Um, you can't paint all of us with one brush use the hush puppy brush to paint all of us no um that that is that is not that is not the case so just as we don't see everybody as criminals in other countries um please do not see us as criminals you know we we are far better than that you know um yeah it's sad it's sad but but that's the truth um we we, we are not criminals we are not we are not criminals <laughs> okay and then let's look at um, my final perspective. Okay, now this goes out to any prospective employer of Nigerians, okay, whether home or abroad. And listen, you want to employ Nigerians, please feel free to do that. You know, we, we are educated and we are hardworking. We are educated and we are hardworking. Now, According to a study conducted by Migration Policy Institute, prepared for Rockefeller Foundation. Now here it is, Nigerians are the most educated immigrant group in the United States. Nigerians are the most educated immigrant group in the United States. Now they came up with this as well, that Nigerians aged 25 and older have a bachelor's degree as their highest educational credential compared to 20% of the US population. Guys, I didn't do this research. This research was done by, you know, um, Migration Policy Institute. Now they came out with another finding that 29% of Nigerians aged 25 and older have master's degree, PhD, or an advanced professional degree compared to 11% of the US population overall. So Nigerians are not criminals. We are educated and we are hardworking. So in case you want to do any transaction with a Nigerian, please know that Nigerians are not criminals. We are educated and we are hardworking. Okay. So conclusion, um, so I just want to conclude with this. Um, first, we condemn crime in its entirety. Crime has no place in, in our society. We condemn crime. Secondly, just as we condemn crime, we are not criminals. One person, one of us may be, but that doesn't qualify all of us. And um, the third one is, we are one of the most edu educated and hardworking people you can find on earth. We are. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, guys, so let me know what you think. Um, I would like you to subscribe to my channel. Um, we're coming with lots of content that will be thought provoking and, you know, fact filled. Also, I want you to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get our videos immediately. We'll drop them. Um, comment, like, and share. As a matter of fact, I'm counting on you. Thank you very much. And have a wonderful day. Bye. So, but again, we have to wait until he goes to court. And um, 
to for for the court to assess whether he's uh, blah 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 blah. 